You've found affordable day trading. Welcome to the channel. Today's trade of the week. We're going to do $82.50 profit in a little bit under nine minutes. We're going to be trading on Monday, May 9th, 2022. And I'll take it to the live screen in a moment. But let's take a look at how the day starts. From 9.30 till 11.30, down for two hours. A little bounce from 11.30 to 12.30. But 12.30 to 1.46, an hour and 16 minutes later, we're down 40 points from the day's opening. And at 1.46 p.m. is when I'm going to enter today's featured trade of the week. So let's go right to the live screen right now. I entered this trade with a bracket order, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Two primary things induced me to make this trade at 146, where I'm going to short one contract of the S&P 500 Micro E-Mini. The uh, MACD line, as you can see by the highlighted yellow area down there, has been below zero for most of the day. And I said a moment ago, we're down 40 points from the 930 opening, and it's 146 in the afternoon, and I pull the trigger and short one of the S&P 500 Micro E-Minis. One of the important important things that prompted me to make the trade at this particular time, I'll highlight it in yellow up there. See those candlesticks are, are holding uh, with some upward resistance there at 40, 20. There's been uh, four out of five of them. And so uh, that was enough for me and that trend of the day going down to be able to get into this trade. I was uh, down about $15 immediately into the trade. We're about a minute and a half into it at this particular time. I'm pulling my stop down from 40, 30. It really wasn't necessary to have it that high and I never intended to get that's more realistic in my expectations for this type of trade so the stops at 40 21 50 and that's exactly five points up from where I shorted at 40 16 50 so my maximum risk on the trade in the get-go here is about $25 so I said a moment ago we were down about $15 the first 30 seconds into the trade and it's finally uh, been pretty smooth sailing since then, getting down to our way. Four minutes into the trade now, and we're about $15 ahead. I'm going to zoom out just a second and uh, check my MACD down there. This is the screen I see when I'm trading. Uh, Tastyworks called it the See It, Click It, Trade It. And it's all on one screen, and I really like that a lot, which is why I recommend it. The MACD, like I said, is still pretty flat down there. Nothing to indicate any big changes coming up for the trade. We've got about 130 videos here on the channel and 13,000 subscribers, so this is your invitation. Uh, join us and click that little bell, and you'll get a notified text or email each week when we put up these new trades. Now I'm going to tell you how to have a stress-free trade. Good risk management. This is what I call a free trade, even though nothing's free. I just moved the stop down below my entry point. That means the worst thing can happen on this trade now is to make one point, five dollars. Not a lot of money, but now I have no stress on the trade. And that's a result of good risk management and also good trade selection. Now that's what happens to you. When you get behind money in a trade, you get stress. And stress causes you to make uh, not the best decisions. Also known as the bad decision or the costly decision. 4008 I moved my stop down. Now I locked in $42.50 on the trade. We're about 7 minutes into it and even $45 now locked in. People are still telling me they would never heard of the micro e-minis before. And uh, they only came about in May of 2019. Before that, you had to trade this S&P at $50 a point. It's only $5 a point now. So you, kinda, you can afford to, to experiment and learn. And uh, when you get all of it together, you can scale up. But they're trading uh, the S&P is the most popular. And it trades uh, over a million contracts a day during the day session. And you can trade uh, about 23 hours a day, six days a week on these things. And uh, it's really a lot of fun. Some people just want a little extra income. Some do it for the fun. And uh, some do it for the training so they can get an, an introduction to trading futures, which has many, many advantages like the extremely high leverage you get. Now, that high leverage makes uh, tremendous opportunities, but it also comes at a price because it's high risk. The notional value of this S&P 500 micro e-mini today is about 20800 
And uh, if you wanted to trade that much stock, you'd have to put up at least 10400 But I only have to put up uh, between $300, $350 to be able to trade this $20,800 worth of uh, uh, equity of these 500 stocks average in the S&P. That's the beauty of futures trading. 61 to 1 leverage in stocks are at best 2 to 1. So it's a tremendous opportunity to get a lot to bang for the buck. But like I said, it comes with high risk. My uh, stop's down at 4,004 now. I've moved my target up to 4,000 even, and I'm trading 4,001.25. And there you go. I get stopped out for a great profit. That was a good trade, and uh, I'll let you read the numbers there. I don't need to read them to you. We had a leverage of 61 to 1 on this trade, and I only had to put up that uh, $326, I think it was. Uh, to be able to trade one of the S&P 500 micro E-minis. You're going to like that high leverage. And with stocks now, uh, you would have had to put up $10,000 to make a trade like this. And uh, so the leverage of 61 to 1 instead of 2 to 1 is really terrific. And you really should uh, try to learn to trade futures because now that they're affordable, thanks to the micro E-minis and some other mini contracts that are coming too. It's a very disruptive technology. All of a sudden, a couple of years ago, the exchanges started offering uh, uh, affordable trading to everyday investors, and that's something new. It's a real game changer is what it is. And there's no PDR. That's the pattern day trading rule. If you're going to trade day trade stocks more than three times a week, you have to have a minimum of $25,000 account. Well, that's not true with futures. The uh, PDR does not apply to futures trading. No futures trading of any kind. If you're new and you want more information, uh, be sure and check out the beginner's playlist. There's a link below. Also a trade simulator down there. It's free from the CME. No credit cards or anything required. And uh, some other playlists you'll find here on the channel. We put these trades up every week because you want to find uh, good, easy ways for you to ease into this kind of trading. is isn't for everyone, but uh, it's so much fun. And uh, if, you, if it's a right match for you, you'll know it. Or if it isn't, you'll find that out pretty quickly too. But you can do that without spending a dime. I have a book that makes learning to day trade the micro e minis faster and easier. You see, there's a lot of new terms if you haven't traded futures before. And uh, it's important, you know, out of all the facts that are thrown at you, you need to know which ones are the most important and the must-knows from the good-to-knows. You have plenty of time to study those later. Uh, but it's a great way to learn. It has over 300 five-star reviews now, I think, and thousands and thousands of people have read it. And I should mention, it costs no more than about one large pizza pie. Be sure and click the like button. Help me out, because uh, if you want to see another video like the one you saw today, click the like button, and I count those. It's kind of like votes. Helps me make better videos for you. Remember to hit that subscribe button and join us again next week for the featured trade. I'm Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you.